In today's flight stream tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to simulate ground effect by adding a ground plane. The first thing we need to do is create a new model in the simulation tree. Then we have to create new CAD using the basic shapes tool to create a plane. The plane length needs to encompass the weight termination and the width at least double the span. The generated plane has a coarse mesh, so we need to retessellate it using the aligned mesher. In this case, we'll specify a 30 by 10 mesh with no growth schemes. Now I'll translate the plane forward to make sure that the pressure is communicated in front of the aircraft. Now we convert the ground plane into a mesh. Now we're ready to run the analysis. I'll set my symmetry to mirror and specify a weight termination of 5 meters. Initialize and run the solver. Once the simulation is complete, you can take a look at the loads in the analysis tab. With ground plane, we have a lift coefficient of 0, 0.16. Let's quickly rerun the case without the ground plane to look at the effect of the ground. We now see a lift of 0, 0.15. We can see that the ground plane increased the lift coefficient of this aircraft. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave a comment on this video or you can also contact us directly at researchinflight.com.